Have you ever heard anybody say something like, I deserve better? Or people kind of saying, I'm a pretty good person compared to others. I think that if there's heaven, I'll, I'll go there after I die. Have you ever heard people complaining about what their rights are, what they're entitled to? I think it's everywhere in our culture. I think we live in a, in a culture that is very much kind of like based on merit, what we do, what we earn, what we deserve, and so on. And you know that the Bible, in a passage like Ephesians 2, is not quite so optimistic about human nature as that. Actually, in a passage like that, we read that as human beings in general, we're, we're fallen and, and sin pervades us. And, and we're actually not deserving of, of good things. We're, we're deserving of, of wrath, actually. But the Bible is also incredibly optimistic about God's goodness and His, and His grace towards us. And that's where Paul goes in Ephesians 2. Yeah, that's, that's who we were. But, but God, simply by His grace and His mercy and His kindness and His love, has done this for us. There's this great contrast between what we deserved and what we actually have in Jesus, where we were and where we are now because of Him. So that's where we're going to go this week, and we invite you to join us at 10 a.m. on our live stream as we continue this journey through Ephesians, talking about the greatness and the goodness of God to us who don't deserve it.